In this video, I'll go over the rules for Empire Chess. Empire Chess was created in 2020 by Catch Tomato, and it's the third game in a series of asymmetric games, the first being Order Chess. If you aren't familiar with Order Chess, here's a link above. Whereas Order Chess involves a new army based on knight movement, Empire Chess similarly creates a new army based on queen movement. This new army is not surprisingly called the Empire, and is colored gold as you can see here. They're matched against the kingdom, which is the same as a classic chess army, and here they're colored black. Let's talk about the pieces first, and then after that I'll go over the general rules. Imperial pawns are the same as royal pawns. I'll mention now that both imperial and royal pawns can only promote to queens upon reaching the 8th rank. So this will turn into that, that will turn into that. Next are the two imperial soldiers that you see in the middle. These move up, left, and right one space, and both move and attack the same way. So here in the starting position, these both protect each other. Now this just leaves the back row pieces. Uh, let me get this piece out of the way first. This is called the Kaiser, which is the Imperial King. The Kaiser cannot castle, unlike the Royal King. But otherwise, there isn't any difference. It's purely an aesthetic difference. Now, as I mentioned before, the Imperial Army is all Queen-based. So all of the remaining pieces can move like Queens, but they attack differently. The way they attack is simply how their royal counterpart attacks. So you see how this piece faces off against the Rook, so it attacks like a Rook. So let's talk about this piece first. This is called a Siege Tower, or Tower for short, and it attacks like a Rook, so orthogonally. But because it also moves like a Queen, it moves without attacking like a Bishop, basically. So overall, you can see the Queen moving behind that. The next piece is the Eagle, and I'm just going to give this one a little bit more space. It's the equivalent of the Knight. So it also attacks just like a knight. And of course moves like a queen. The next piece is the cardinal. And if you couldn't tell, this attacks like a bishop. And because it also has queen movement, it can move without attacking like a rook on top of that. The final piece is the Duke. This one is different because its counterpart is the Queen. So if it followed the pattern, it would just be another Queen, right? But it isn't. It attacks like a King. So it just moves one square in any direction. But it still has the range of a Queen. So it can move any number of squares in any directions without attacking. Now let's go over the rules. As an imperial power, the empire in this game borrows from the empire in the Far East, from Chinese chess or Xiangqi, so there is heavy influence from that game. So while in chess stalemates and repetitions are considered draws, these aren't draws in empire chess. The player who is stalemated loses the game. The player who causes the same position to happen three times and causes repetition also loses the game. And then finally, also like in Xiangqi, the king and the kaiser cannot face each other. So this situation, where these two have an open file, uh, is illegal. And then it also applies to rook movement. So actually, this situation is also illegal. So let me give you two examples. So in this example, if it's black's turn to move, black moves the rook down here and it's checkmate, because the rook attacks the Kaiser and also blocks off the rest of this rank. The Kaiser cannot go to any of these squares because the King also blocks off this rank. And here's a second situation. It's Gold's turn to move. So Gold moves the Duke all the way to the seventh rank and this is checkmate. Well because of the Duke, the King cannot move to any of these squares because those are all covered by the Duke. And then finally, the Duke itself is protected by the Kaiser. 
because the king and Kaiser cannot face off. If the king were to take that, that would be illegal. So that's checkmate. The final rule is something in common with other asymmetric games in this uh, series of variants, which is can't mate. Advance your king or Kaiser to the last rank without being in check to win. This is an alternate win condition. So in this situation, if gold is able to move its Kaiser all the way to this final rank, gold wins. Now keep in mind I had to put this bishop here because without that over there, uh, the Kaiser cannot actually move into this rank. And so those are all the rules for Empire Chess. Now I just want to briefly talk about piece values. Uh, we don't have well-defined piece values for all the pieces yet, but here's some general guidelines that uh, players currently use. So Queen remains the strongest piece by far. This is followed by the tower and to a lesser degree the cardinal. Next up is the rook. Below that is the duke and eagle. Below them we have the bishop and knight. And then finally at the bottom we have the soldier followed by the pawns. So that's everything we have for Empire Chess. Please feel to try it out on Pie Chess. If you'd like to see more of these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe.